Hey beautiful people, it's Rachel McFarlane here. Uh, welcome to a Behind the Music. Um, today I just want to share my story about one of the greatest successes, chart successes that I've experienced um, and that is LMC versus U2, Take Me to the Clouds Above. So for those of you who don't know, um, LMC is acronym for the band members. So Lee Monteverdi, Matt Cadman and Chris Nuttall. The track itself is uh, an amalgamation of Whitney Houston's How Will I Know, um, written by um, Narada Michael Waldron. And um, the U2 part of uh, the track is the bass line from With or Without You, for those of you who don't know. So um, I got involved with this and um, I got a call from Lee Monteverdi um, saying that they needed someone to um, vocal this track. And at the time, I had stopped singing. I was unable to sing because I developed something called Graves' disease. And it's like a, an aggressive form of hyperthyroidism. So your thyroid is in your neck. Um, so that impacted on my larynx and I, I developed a goiter in my neck that was just really a really bad time in my life and basically I couldn't sing there's no way that I'd ever thought that I would sing again and so so for two years nine months I didn't sing so when I got this call I was like mm, I'm not sure if I can do this and um so apologetic but they said please come down come down and try it so I went down to the recording studio. They had to lower the key for me to record it. Um, I recorded it. They raised the key again and um, blow me down with a feather. This song went to number one. And uh, I was catapulted back into the mainstream. So um, I... I I'm still at a loss for words really as to um, how I managed to get through that vocally. I had to quickly rehabilitate my voice and um, get back into the swing of things. But um, you guys made it number one. This song is really special to me because it, um, it allowed me to come back as a singer. So um, here it is, LMC versus U2, Take Me To Clouds Above. Enjoy. Looks into 